morning, Multicolor Swap Shop. Can I help you? Hello, Swap Shop. Hello, Swap Shop. Good morning. The Swap Shop. <laughs> about 9.30 on a Saturday morning. Welcome to Swap Shop. We're going to alter your Saturday quite drastically because in the next well, three hours or so I can promise you all sorts of exciting surprises and happenings. Thanks again once... There are ten telephone girls in the studio and from the moment the lines open they are hard at work. I was going to be line two operator. Francis gave me a few tips before I took my first call. Already? Uh, yes, well, I think the, they've opened the lines. We're just about to start. Now, let me explain just briefly about the telephone. Um, this is the telephone, right? And uh, it's very simple because when that's up, mm. this is uh, open to come through. And as you can see, the light's flashing, and that means there is somebody actually on the line. Right now. Put it down and uh, put the headphones on. Good morning, Smarty Colour Swap Shop. Good morning. Who am I speaking to? How do you spell that? Hello? Who is that? Yes. They're very faint, aren't they? Yes. Can you speak up a little bit, love, and tell me my, your name? My name is Francesca Giles. All the details of each call are written down. Name, age, address, telephone number, what the caller wants to ask Noel or one of his guests, or what swaps are being offered. I should think we probably can. What sort of pop records are they? Two tennis balls. Hello, Swap Shop. Yes. Hello, Multicolored Swap Shop. Oh, it's ringing. All right. We may be ringing you back if no one is going to speak. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Bye. Bye bye then. Hello, Multicolored Swap Shop. Can I help you? Uh, I've got a swap. I would like to swap a punch bag. Yes. This sounds like a very good uh, swap coming up. Can I take your name first, though? Uh, Mark, please. How old are you? Uh, ten. You're ten, are you? Right, I think I've got all the information I need now, except the most important, which is, what's your swap? Um, a punch bag and what was it left? That's what you've got, is it? For, for, um, for scale electric. For scale electric. Righty-ho. Right, Mark, well, I've got all that written down. And uh, fingers crossed and listen into the programme and see if your swap goes into the top ten swaps. Have you been hanging on for ages, waiting for us to answer? This week, last week and the week before you hung on and rang in. Oh, Mark, patience has paid off at last. Glad to hear from you. Bye-bye. With calls pouring in at around ten a minute, the bits of paper soon pile up. Obviously, they need sorting out into the different swaps, questions or answers to the odd swap of the week. So Pat collects the calls and rushes them to the telephone master control suite upstairs. Getting multicoloured swap shop on the air is a technical triumph. It's up in these dark rooms that the engineers, lighting, sound and production team all work to get the programme to the viewer. Pat takes the calls to Cathy, who sorts them out into the different subjects. She had filing trays for John Craven questions, odd swaps, ordinary swaps, questions for the new Bay City Roller who was appearing, and people who wanted to speak to Noel. The phone calls don't go directly on the air. If Noel is going to talk to a viewer, the viewer has to be phoned back for technical reasons. And if you take that one around. OK. Is that Belinda? You wanted to um, ask the Bay City Rose question? Can I just check how you spell your surname? Is it D-A-R-D-I-S? Yes, that's lovely. Um, we have to check you So turn the sound down on your television set first. All right, I'll put you through to the engineers now. Hold on. The telephones that Carol and Anne use are the lines that Noel calls out on the programme, lines one to six. Once the line is through to the engineer, the paper with the details of the call and what the caller wants to talk about is taken through into the sound control room. Hello? Oh, I'm an engineer and I've just got to do a quick test on your telephone before we put you on the air, OK? First of all, I'm going to send a rather nasty loud noise for a few seconds, so just mind your ears. Here it comes. Yeah. 
Just before the call goes out, Anna talks to the viewers to make sure they're not too nervous and tells them when they're on the air. While Anna and the sound engineer Brendan are working on the call, Sheila in the back room is typing out the caller's name on an electronic typewriter. A mini computer remembers the name so that when Ian, the studio director, hears Noel ask who's calling, he can put up the name on the screen. Malcolm, the sound supervisor, has each telephone line on a separate sound fader, so on cue from Noel, he brings up the correct call. Uh, we have a call to the swap shop on line six. Hello. Hello, Noel. Hello, who's this? This is Simon. Hello, Simon. Whereabouts are you ringing from? Plymouth. From Plymouth? That's right. That's the first time we've had somebody from Plymouth. Oh. What's it like down there? Oh, uh, well, looking out of the window, it's very sunny. It's sunny. Yes, That's but it's nice. pretty cold, though. Yeah, a bit chilly, but sunny. Seems mm -hmm. as if the West, uh, the West Country's got quite nice weather today. Up in London, it's not so good. At least it wasn't when I arrived. Anyway, have you got a swap for us? That's right, yes. Right, let me just... I would like to swap some stereo headphones. Stereo headphones? That's right. Yeah. And I would like a camera. Simon, <laughs> if, that's, uh, if that's one of the best swaps this week, it'll be on our top ten board a bit later. OK, thank you for ringing. 600 calls an hour are answered in the studio. That's over 2,000 while swap shop's on the air. It was hard, exhausting work being on the phone for three hours, but it was very enjoyable. The time flew by. From the moment the lines are open until they close, the swap shop girls don't relax for a second. Good morning. Multicolour swap shop here. Can I help you? Hello, swap shop. Hello, swap shop. Can I help you? Hello, swap shop. Swap shop. 